U.S. President Barack Obama on his recent European trip came offering solutions for the trouble Europe is in with Russia over Ukraine's Crimea region. He promoted American energy exports. At the same time, he highlighted the European Union's interest in diversifying its sources. Russia is such a big supplier that this gives it more political leverage than the transatlantic allies like. You know, I think that Europe collectively uh, is going to need to examine, in light of what's happened, uh, their energy policies to find are there additional ways uh, that they can diversify and accelerate energy independence. The United States as a source of energy is one possibility. It has been on the EU's to-do list for several years, reduce its energy dependence on its powerful neighbor. Europe currently buys more energy from Russia than from any other country. Its other main suppliers are Norway, Algeria and Qatar. As a whole, 40% of its gas and 20% of its oil is Russian. The proportion varies according to country, of course. For instance, Finland, Bulgaria and Slovakia get all of theirs from Russia, shown in red here. In yellow, it's 60 to 80% in Poland, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Greece and Austria's case, and 20 to 40% for France, Italy and Germany. In 2009, Russia hit Europe where it hurt when it cut the supply flow through Ukraine in a price dispute with Kiev. European industry and households ran short and the winter was colder than usual. Both the EU and Russia are dependent on fixed pipelines for the transit of gas, but now shale gas extraction in the US makes it a potential exporter in liquefied form known as LNG. Rather than reduce dependence on Russia, Europe developed new plans to go around Ukraine as a transit country. Russia's Gazprom is the majority shareholder of Nord Stream, a pipeline through the Baltic Sea. German companies own the next largest share, then the Dutch and French. The South Stream system to pipe Russian gas westward through the Black Sea is a Russian, Italian, French and German project. So is Nabucco, a joint venture by Turkey, Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary and Austria to pipe Central Asian gas. The Americans are keen to start shipping their liquid gas. Europe's only using about 20% of its LNG import terminal capacity. That's because till now it's been happy buying cheap Russian gas. Meanwhile, however, the 28 EU members still have a lot of work to do to make their cross-border pipelines compatible so that one member can help another in case they need to.